morning guys this is Sumaya welcome back to my youtube channel so today in this video we are going to learn two simple tricks in which we can change the background of your renders so these two tricks are without using the photoshop so you don't need photoshops for after effects so this was the model we created in our, uh, our last tutorial we did lighting for the same we used flat lights now for the same thing we are going to add a background image so if you could check out my last video uh, in that the background is fully black okay that is what you get when you do any outdoor lighting in the dialogues even so for the first thing we'll run the calculation and the entire project so my calculation is completed I want this hole to be black so for that one go to the display icon and you can see your show sky texture remove it so we'll just remove it now the calculation is completed we'll set some view and then render it we'll even close the coordinate system so while taking the view set the view properly such that your whole building is visible you can make a two point perspective or a one point pers perspective or any other angle uh, you feel is looking nice or revealing the information you want to give so I want to I will set the view something like this more towards this side export save view, save new view go to the ray tracer increase the resolution and start ray tracing it so this is a rendered image and this is the whole black background what i have now and this is the thing will be changing so close this save image so i will save it in desktop render one we will save another view Save new view and retrace it. So this is my second render view. Close, save image. I'm going, going to save it as render two. So our rendered images are done. Now from here our method one starts wherein we are not going to use uh, Photoshop neither we are going to do some changes in the dialogues we are going to use a basic program powerpoint open a new file in the powerpoint make the layout to be plain so extend it to the sides of your powerpoint layout so this was the first step second step is double click on your image on the left hand side upper corner you can see the remove background click on this one so now you can see the whole background is removed only my building is selected if you want to add even the path just extend these things just extend the coordinates once extended go here mark areas to keep and mark areas to remove so you want this to be kept so we'll select mark areas to keep and draw one straight line here too so my whole pathway is selected keep changes and you can see you have only the building and the pathway now you can crop the image save this now we are going to select some background which can be included here so you can go to 
so once this is done go to the google and search for some night sky background images so you can select any background image of sunset or night sky with a high resolution and a large file so for the tool if you want to filter it in the google go for tools in the size section make it large and you can select any image from here so i like this image i'm going to save this save images in the desktop and save images in the desktop save it go back to your powerpoint insert pictures and you can select the image you want adjust it as per the size of your layout powerpoint layout click on the image right click and here send to back so now your image is back of this building now my image is bigger than that of the layout zoom a little and here you can adjust your image you want your sky to be this much exposed or you wanted this one so I will make it something like this one then once you are done crop the extra things you have so this side it's correct so we have cropped the top view and that's it so you have inserted a image in the background now select all group then click again save it in your save it as jpeg or png file so we'll go check the render 3 so we so let's check the final view so this is your render with the background let's repeat for the some other view Control Z. So this was the image we selected. Now we delete this one and insert some other image, maybe a sunset sky. So for the sunset sky, let's go with something. I have already downloaded the image, so let's select this image. Select, adjust the image. Send to back. This is the image. Now this looks like you know cut so we'll move it a bit upper something like this and crop the top portion now I, this part of mine is white so i'm going to format background format in the color select the eyedropper and you can select it it get fills close to format background now my background sky looks very much brighter compared to the building and the pathway because my building and the pathway is something that is in the night view so i'm going to make some adjustments to my background sky double click on this on the image so you have corrections click down and here you can increase or decrease the contrast and the brightness so some default one are these settings so you want the more contrast brightness less so i like something like this this suits my background and the building control all group save as picture so i'll make it as render four. We'll go back and see both our images so this is my night view and this is somewhat in the dawn that is around sunset so these are the so this is an image with the uh, dialogue render which is a black background then we have a night sky and we have a sunset sky so this is how you change this is method one of changing the 
background of the rendered image produced by dialogues without photoshop and hope you found this method one easy and simple this is what i generally do so close this one don't save back to dialogues now coming to the method two we'll go back to dialogues cancel the calculation show sky texture the view you want first so i have selected two views the first one is this one and second is here so i'll go with the same view now when i'm seeing this image i have the sky covering my three sides of the building so this side the back side and here the left side so so my sky should be on this side this side and this side right go back to the construction go to the side and increase light dimension of this side on this end this end then go to the extrusion body draw extrusion volume in the c shape because you want the sky on this side right close polygon go to the 3d view now your extrusion volume is very small make it to a larger height maybe we can make it 45 meters or 30 meters no 30 is small 40 is good so once this under textures catalogs material catalog outdoor sky so we can select any sky from here maybe we can go with starry sky to double click and it will get selected minimize and replace the extrusion body now we have placed the texture on the extrusion body but here the texture looks much not good exactly but still we'll just run the calculation and see the output calculation objects entire project so my sky is looking a bit better after the calculation, I'm going to retrace the same view. Increase the resolution and retrace it. So this is my rendered view from the dialogues and here is the background image of a starry sky. This looks better than a plain black background. Close save image so here i placed a starry sky background which is from the dialogues catalogs but you can import some other image of high resolution with a sunset sky and place it on your extrusion body do the calculation and export it so the process is same but the images could be different now let's go and check out our final images which are produced from so this was the image we got from the dialogues this too we did it in the powerpoint so this is it guys these are the two simple methods in which you can change the background of your dialogues rendered images if you like this video and if you found it helpful please like and subscribe to my youtube channel stay tuned to explore more in dialogues with me thank you